I'm so dang excited for tonight. We're going to talk all about going Ruby and getting you that $500 Ruby bonus. And guys, if you are Ruby, yes, this is still applicable because that means you've got someone on your team that you're helping go Ruby this month. So I'm excited. This is the last month for these bonuses, and we want to make sure that we are doing all the things we can to capitalize on it and make sure we are growing our business and doing it all. So before we get started, we are going to, uh, to before we get started talking about um, going Ruby, I just want to take just a couple of minutes to talk about C -la -Vie. So um, I want you guys to drop a one in the chat if you have been in Jamaica with us. Drop a two in the chat if you're going to be on the next trip, okay? That you're out there hustling, whatever comes, you're making it happen. Um, it was such a dang good time. And so before I even go into it, I want to hear from Hannah. So not only, you guys, I got a shout out like I've done it all week. So not only did Hannah earn um, her spot to go to Jamaica, she's been in, you know, just over a year, you guys. So it's not like she's been in forever. She earned her spot in Jamaica. And then she promoted Diamond, um, earned and took her husband, Emerald, earning six thousand dollars in bonuses but like 11 on the 31st and we had to be on our way to the airport at like 3 a.m that, that next morning so it was really and so i want to hear some of your takeaway hands um how all the things about felt we got home moments give me all all right, so I'm excited. I actually, I just wrote down some notes like 10 minutes ago. So hopefully I'm not all over the place for once in my life. Um, But so the main thing I wanted to say was get excited. I am so excited right now. I'm still a little bit in party mode from Jamaica, like dancing around the house. It was fantastic, but now I'm, like, on a mission to, like, help all my other people. I'm, like, let's go time. Let it's go time, ladies. And it's so exciting right now because we have so many people who are getting so many customers and growing their business. And I'm, like, this is crazy. I thought this was the slow season, and it doesn't feel like it. It feels like the boom season already over here to me. So get excited because, oh, when the boom season actually comes in a few months, it's going to shock everyone because we're already so busy right now. It's crazy. Okay, so what's your goal? I don't know where you're at. Maybe you just started and your goal is like, well, I need a customer bonus or like I've got a few customers, but I do I do want to do the whole four in one. Like I want to go Ruby. I want to get I want to finish out my um, builder bonus or whatever it is. Figure out what's your goal and then just go for it. It's like as fast as you can, like do it as fast as you can. And then you can rest the last day of the month instead of hustling hard the last day of the month or do both. You can do both. But, um, and I wanted to say like dream bigger because when I started this about a year and a half ago, I really didn't have the big picture in my mind. Like the me right now, everything that's going on, I, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about that. I had no idea I would be here. I kind of counted myself out of any of that vision. Um, and I think some other people had to dream it for me a little bit. Um, because I didn't, I didn't think about it. I was like, oh, cool, free trips. Like, okay, that's for other people though, not for me. But I just went on one. <laughs> So it was for me. Um, so dream bigger. Like it's it's for you because you're here. You just have to go get it and keep working for it. Um, because I did count myself out of that. And um, I had to just keep working and keep believing that I was actually put here for a reason and keep trusting that I was supposed to be here. Like, this is where I'm supposed to be. I had to keep believing in that because there's going to be times where you're not feeling it as much and you're like, oh, maybe, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. 
but you are here. So just keep going. It may just be a little bump in the road. It may be your mindset. It may be something not even related to this business. It might be in your something in your house that's making you go crazy. Like, you know, something's going on. It doesn't mean it's your business. So just keep going, keep pushing because you are here for a reason. Um, and I had to just keep trusting and believing in that and that I was put here for a bigger purpose. Um, so be excited and just allow yourself to keep dreaming bigger. Um, like what's, what's your, figure out what your goal is now, but then allow yourself to maybe dream a little bit bigger. Like what's your next goal beyond that? Um, and then when you, as you reach each goal, just allow yourself to dream a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger, and it's going to keep falling into place. So, um, that is all I got. <laughs> Y'all jittering, still excited, but, um, I kept my notes. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. It was such a fun event, you guys. This past year for, for the company has really been such a big pivot. You know, we switched to leadership with the Uncala stepping up. We switched uh, leadership in the field with different leaders rising and some stepping away. And when I tell you the dynamic was so different, if you guys have been in an event so far this year, conference, green carpet, say la vie, anything like that, you can feel the shift. This feels like home again. This feels like every single person belongs. And it was such a good environment and place to be. And I love what you were talking about dreaming, Hannah. That was a big focus we talked about throughout the event um, in Jamaica is just dreaming and dreaming again, dreaming bigger and pushing yourself to expand on whatever you think that could be. And I like also that you were saying that, you know, you had to accept the fact that you were meant to be here because I know you guys have heard me say that, like you're not, this is not an accident that um, you are here. It is not an accident that you joined this business. It's not an accident even that you're on the Zoom tonight. You are called and destined for greatness. And this can be the vehicle that gets you there because there is nothing fundamentally wrong with you. There is absolutely nothing that will handicap you and keep you from finding the same success as the next person that could, except for yourself. And we're going to talk some more about getting out of our own ways tonight and some things that we can do to try to help make sure that we are staying on track with our goals. So we're going to be talking about Ruby tonight. So I want you guys to drop a one in the chat if you are going Ruby this month to earn a $500 bonus. And I want you to put a two in the chat if you are helping someone go Ruby this month and earn them a $500 bonus. Okay. I love it. Look, that's a lot of money, right? That's 500 and 500 and 500 and 500. And I love it. We want to make sure we make the company go broke this month. Okay. I want them paying out so many dang Ruby bonuses that they don't know what the heck they're going to do. And because the root guys, Ruby is the foundation for everything in this business. Once you go Ruby, you have like unlocked the secret to being an ambassador diamond, being a double ambassador, being black diamond, all the things it's all built on the foundation of Ruby. And that is why it is so important to get yourself there and then start duplicating that within your organization. And so if you guys are brand new, you're probably like, what the heck is a Ruby? I'm going to show you guys. So I've got several different documents we're going to screen share and look at. I tell you guys, every time I try to do something, I feel like my buttons move. Okay, so we're going to kick it off with looking at here the Ruby Roadmap. So if you were at Green Carpet, we talked about this. Um, oops, it's going too far. Sam Bowers, I talked about this on stage. I know Laura's got it in one of her... Um, board. So you guys probably have seen this. Give me a thumbs up someone if my screen is sharing correctly. Okay. I see a thumbs up. Perfect. I know my audio is going out at the beginning. So I know. Ten so this is <laughs> my camera. Oh my gracious guys. Okay. Give me just a second. Cause my camera just went out and my audio just went out. <sighs> Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me and see me again. If not, then this is going to be a real awkward Zoom. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's try this again and share screens. If not, if it does it again, it throws me out. I'm going to talk you guys through this, and I'll send you all the stuff later. Okay, so 
Hopefully it keeps me too this time. So this is the Ruby roadmap. What it is, is taking Ruby, which is having three team members under you and a total of 2000 in group sales. It's taking that and breaking it down into tangible baby steps to help you get to your goal. And so for you guys that are new, this thing right here, this is called a Ruby chart. And so this is a great way to track what you're doing. It's the same as if you want to go on a road trip, right? You've got to have the map to get you there. And that's what this map is going to Ruby. Okay. And so we're our first goal is if your chart looks just like this one with nobody in it, if you're still new, you want to make sure we're getting in three distributors to help you um, grow as you are moving towards Ruby. We got to have that team working with us, those people that we get to help them grow their business. And guys, if you're still new, this is also building you towards a builder bonus. And so that is that unlimited $800 bonus you can earn. And so bringing in distributors is going to compound if you're in your first three calendar months, along with going Ruby and the $500 bonus, you're also going to be working and earning builder bonuses as well. Well, we want you earning all the money right here before Christmas. So this is what a Ruby looks like. Now, this Ruby roadmap is broken down to help make it a little bit more attainable. And I'm going to take it one step further than just all that's written on here. So if you look at the recipe for going Ruby, you guys, I'm bringing the green out on today's Zoom. Okay, we're going over documents and all the things. It's a little less exciting, but hopefully it's still a good time. <laughs> so the recipe for going Ruby is we need 2000 in volume. That is the total that you've got to have. It does have to be specifically placed. You need to be commission qualified, which is either running a personal ADBB auto ship in this calendar month or having 150 in sales. And then each of those three friends you're going to bring in, they've got to have at least 400 in sales. And then as everyone goes over a little bit here and there, it's going to start chipping off. And as a team, we've got to get you to 2000 and that's going to knock out your $500 Ruby bonus. And so we're being big right now on uh, gummies host to post and getting into those gummies conversations. So with that, the pricing script um, for gummies that we've been using gives those three options. Okay. Middle option, that is our two gummies and our Thermophyte X for 77 BB. Now you're going to have people come in with base volume. You're going to have people come in with big packs. So we want to shoot at the mid middle to make it a little bit easier. So with that middle kit, you got to get 26 customers and you have earned builder bonuses. At that point, PM bonuses out the wahoo, you're going to be getting those $50, $50, $50 for every four customers with 300 in volume. And then you want to push to get one teammate a week. And that's going to set you up to not just go Ruby, but to crush Ruby, get the $500 bonus, as well as um, those builder bonuses on the way. And so I don't know if you guys have heard the formula before talking and breaking this down one more step into host to post, but this is something that's always like always been very attractive to me when I'm looking at pushing for a big goal because if I'm sitting here and I'm like, that's a lot of volume, right? Like if you're brand new, you don't have a customer. You're like, dang, 26 is a lot, right? Like that's a lot. Trust me, been there, done that. So I went Ruby in my first 30 days. So I went from zero to 2000 and promoted Ruby back in the olden days. The charts didn't look like this. We had to have five people and I got all five distributors and the 2000 volume in 30 days to go Ruby. So it can be done. I want you to know that if you guys are new and you're like, I don't know, it can 100% be done. But sometimes looking at the numbers is very daunting. You guys have heard me talk about it time and time again, is we like to focus on the things that we can control. And at the end of the day, you can't control who is going to order. You can't control when a customer is going to sign up or when a distributor is going to join you, but you can control the work you put in. And so that's what I want you to focus on, because if you're focusing on doing the right work consistently, you will inevitably build yourself to Ruby or help someone do that along their journey. And so the magic formula for host to post because we can control host to post, right? We can keep on messaging until we get our 10 host to post up. We can keep showing up until we get those going where we can't necessarily control the customers the same. And so for every 10 host to post you get up on average, so it's not set in stone, but on average, you get about 60 BV per 10 host to post. There's 22 days left in the month, you guys. So if you are at ground zero right now, you have no 
customers whatsoever, you need from tomorrow on 15 host to post a day. And you'll go, you'll be setting yourself up to go Ruby. That's not as scary, right? Like just thinking instead of like, I need 26 customers, I need 2000, I need team members. You need just 15 host to post a day. And this formula is going to work for any of your goals, right? So if you need, um, say a thousand BV, let's do the math together. Then you would take that. You're going to divide that by 60 because we're doing 60 BV customers. That puts you needing almost 17. So we're going to round up to be safe. Multiply that by 10 host to post. And that's going to give you 170 host to post is what you need to get 1,000 BV before the end of the month. And then if we're going to take that divided by the 22 days, you would need roughly 7.7. .7, so eight host to post a day. So this allows you to take any goal that you're pushing for and break it down into something that is more tangible, something that is easier, something that is less daunting and scary, and something that's more in your control while pushing for a goal. So that's kind of what Ruby is and a quick synopsis of how to get there. I will also send all of these graphics in every chat that this uh, Zoom was shared in so you guys have access to that. So I want to talk about how we actually are going to get this done, right? It sounds good, looks good, sounds great, but how the heck am I actually going to do this? And so the biggest thing is going to be consistency. Consistently doing your shifts, your daily tasks. I know we have several teams hopping in here. So if your task looks, looks different, do what works. But for my team, we use a shifted task list. If you guys are new, also, you won't have seen this. You'll be having a newbie shifted task list, which is a little bit simpler task sets. But doing your shifted task list every single day is how you are going to go and go Ruby this month. I put a minimum, guys, you've got to be doing a minimum of two shifts a day. One shift takes about 30 minutes, guys. You can give me an hour a day to get a $500 bonus plus builder bonuses plus commissions on top of that. And you're saying you ain't got an hour? Come on. We got to make sure sometimes that our work ethic matches our goal set. And being doing your work consistently and showing up, it's got to match where you're wanting to go. We A lot of times we find our frustrations when we're wanting something and we're not quite reaching it with the work, right? There's been seasons where I'm like, I want to go triple diamond. I'm feeling it. I'm ready to go. But then I'm not doing the level of work it would take to match. So I'm getting frustrated that I'm not hitting my promotion and I'm not hitting my goal. But if you break it down, not not actually doing the work it requires. And a lot of times when we are stuck, when we are spinning our wheels, when we're trying and trying again, it's because we're not quite matching the work with the outcome, like with the goal. And so doing at least two shifts a day has to be your bare minimum. But guys, I want to encourage you to go ahead and do it all. Like you want to go Ruby, you want a $500 bonus, you want it's an hour and a half to three hours a day. You can do all three. It may take some learning curve. It may take some growth. It may take some practice, but I want you getting your work done consistently. And I'm gonna say it again, consistently, because doing it just today, doing it in a few days, doing it again tomorrow, like spacing it out, isn't going to get you the yield you're looking for. When you are inconsistently showing up for your business, you guys, it's like planting seeds in someone else's garden. You're planting the seed, you're putting it there. It's gonna start growing because our products are incredible. This business is incredible. It's going to take root. But if you are not consistently showing up, when it takes root and starts growing, someone else is going to get the harvest. Someone who was consistent. I can't tell you how many times I have distributors or customers sign up with me who have talked to other people about the business. I mean, we can even talk Hannah, for example. She just went diamond. We were just talking about how all of that. She saw, was following multiple other It Works people before she ever joined my team. And it's not that I do anything special. It's not that I do anything different. It's just what I do consistently, I'm real dang good at. I get the yield, I get the turnover, I get the high enrollments because I show up in and out every single day with consistency. It doesn't take insane mass action. It doesn't take being glued to your phone every day, all moments of every day to grow your business to the next level. It just takes doing the same things consistently every single day. So we're gonna take it one more step with another tracker here to help you keep up with what you are doing every day for the week. I like visuals. I like being able to see it. And so 
I do all my tracking on my phone. I don't print it out. I'm not, I've kind of shied away from pen and paper. So every single day I'm having to erase the marks I did the day before and add in the new day, right? I got one graphic, I'm just changing it. So I'm not able to hold myself accountable the same tomorrow for what I did today when it's all gone. Versus if you put it in writing, you're saying, this is what I'm committed to doing. These are the things that are gonna get you to Ruby and beyond doing this every single day all week. And then on Sunday, if you haven't signed a customer on Sunday, I guarantee you didn't do everything all week long. Because if you're doing all of the work all week long, you will have enrollments come Sunday. Some point during the week, you're gonna have someone join you and sign up. You've gotta be doing your shifts. You gotta be taking the time to grow yourself reading personal development books, listening to podcasts. You got to be getting your 10 hosts of posts up minimum, you guys. We want to be pushing to do that daily. We've got to be making sure we're getting in the right conversations. You've got to not just be talking to talk, but talking to convert into a true potential conversation. And so be writing down your potentials. You will, I promise if you're trying to do it by memory, people are falling through the cracks write down your potentials. And that gives you the ability at the end of the day to look back and see, am I talking to 10 potential customers every day? I mean, I talking to, am I adding five new potential distributors to my list every day? If you're doing these things, you're going to be getting the enrollments. You are going to be building in the right direction. And so that's a great weekly check, uh, checklist there. Let's stop screen sharing for a little bit. Um, so that's going to be when you're unlocking Ruby for you guys who are pushing for it, it's going to be learning the things and then doing the things consistently. I know you're probably like, I'm tired of hearing that one, but it's consistency in this business. The stopping and starting is going to be the thing that's going to keep you stuck. I'm sure anyone who feels stuck who's been around for a minute can attest to that. Anytime we're stuck in, in, a, in a spot in our business, it's because we get stuck in that start and stop. And I like what Hannah was talking about earlier, like, Guys, yeah, this is not your traditional boom season, right? Like if you've been around, you know, we wait for January, the New Year's resolutions, when people are ready to like get healthy, lose weight and make monies, right? So in January, it comes crazy. But you know what's even crazier? My business right now feels like boom season. My enrollments are up from last month. My volume is going up two to 3,000 per month right now. We are growing immensely in this season. So if you've been around for a bit, if you are waiting for boom season, let me tell you, honey, you are missing out. Because imagine if you started creating momentum in your business in this season, if you saw promotions in this season, if you saw growth in this season, what the heck would happen come boom season, come January, come the natural momentum that happens to happen in the universe to help your business grow. But if you are already on the momentum train, if you already have the excitement and growth happening, you are going to skyrocket your potential. It's going to completely change everything. And we have to let go of the idea that there has to be these seasons in our business. I started getting some momentum building a couple months ago. And I remember sitting down with a friend and I was like, what if this never ends? Like, what if this excitement and this momentum doesn't have to end? What if there doesn't have to be a summer season or a winter season? What if I just get to love my business forever? What if I just get to be excited about showing up forever? What if every day I get to help someone? I get to see growth. I get to see promotions every single month because guys, at the end of the day, they're gonna happen every single month. I can guarantee you, Stephanie and Joel Dunn are number one income earners. I can guarantee you, they have someone promote every single calendar month. So if somebody is doing it, why the heck can't you? Why the heck not? There is growth. There is possibility. There is excitement. There is momentum. And it's time that we tap in and capitalize on that. It's time for you to go Ruby. If you've been sitting around and you're like, well, I've tried before. I don't know why it's going to happen this time. It's freaking time. It's time to get out of your way. It's time to believe it for yourself. Like I was just saying, someone's going to do it. Why the heck not you? 
Why the heck? <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you failed and started over or got short or got close or whatever it was because God can do miracles in today, in this season, in this month. Maybe it hasn't happened because it wasn't the right time for you. Maybe it hasn't happened because God needed you to go through a storm that someone else in your downline in the future is going to need you to hold their hand through. Maybe it's not even about you. Maybe you aren't a failure at all. And it's actually just showing how strong you are. Maybe you're fighting a battle for someone in the future. Maybe Maybe you are just so in line now in this season that it's just going to come together. We don't know, but I can guarantee that if you don't show up consistent, consistently, if you don't believe that you can do this, then it, you are going to perpetually continue the same cycles. You are going to absolutely continue going again and again and again and repeating these same sequences. And it's not because anything is wrong with you, but it's because you haven't gotten out of your own dang way and letting God take control of your business, you guys. This is meant to change your life from the get-go we just talked about at the beginning of this Zoom is you are here for a dang reason. And it breaks my heart time and time again to see people join for the belief, join for the excitement for whatever it is they want in their life and then start doubting themselves. Homie, Jesus put that there in your soul for a reason. You have that desire, that goal, that, that want, that dream for a reason. Stop cutting yourself short. Stop letting the enemy sneak in. Stop making the excuses because the only reason you are not where you want to be yet is because of you. Because God's already equipped you. He's already gone ahead of you. He's already prepared the way. And you know what is so dang beautiful about that? Is that means that the day you decide to believe it is the day that everything changes. You don't have to do something special. You don't have to get the right X, Y, Z. You just get to decide and trust this season. Trust that God has equipped you, has gone before you, has called you, has anointed this path, has a line of people that need you and you are ready to fully and uh, uh, like effortlessly step into the calling on your life. Guys, regardless of what it means, regardless of what the timetable looks like, my business shifted and we are going triple diamond as a team, you guys. Like my goal was to go triple by February. And I'm starting to like freak out a little bit because I think it's going to happen like possibly in like December. Like things are just happening crazy over here. And it wasn't, it never, it didn't happen until I decided I didn't care anymore. I decided I wanted to stop pushing triple. And instead I wanted to build triples under me. I decided I cared more about my people, about their goals, about how they were going to pay their bills, about how they were going to change their lives, about how I was going to help them learn to believe in themselves. And I wanted to see my team win more than I cared about where I was going. And because of that, you guys, the momentum that we are having, you have such a calling on your life. You have a list of people that you are called to influence, to help, to love on. And we get so caught up on the promotion or the rank or where the heck we're going, we tend to overlook that. We tend to let it slip by because we got an X, Y, Z. But when I tell you, when you let go of your dream, your vision, your goal, and not let go of it as in like, we're not pushing for dreams, okay? Hear me when I say that, like we working hard, we got our dreams and I still want to go triple diamond, okay? But when you let go of the idea that you have to have it, like you have to make it happen and instead you just trust the things that can happen, when you just let go and trust, it's like all of the weight is lifted. The chains are lifted and all of a sudden things are happening in your business and in your life that you can't even explain because it's not you, it's freaking God. Last month, Hannah went diamond. Well, I'm just going to keep it short on this because yo, I don't even, it was the epitome of it was God because at 8 p.m. on the 31st, I was freaking the heck out because I wasn't going to maintain diamond. There was no way in the world I was going to maintain Diamond. There was no way in the world Hannah was going to maintain Emerald. We were freaking out. I was like, I don't know. I'm going to pay my bills. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Okay. 11 o'clock. That was at 8 p.m. At 11 p.m. Hannah was Diamond. <laughs> that doesn't happen. That's not by me. 
we had people coming out of the like me and her were literally our entire text messages it's us just screaming back and forth because we don't even know what is going on and it's because we let go and we didn't control it and we just knew that we had to stay faithful and we had to trust i remember sitting here and being like god i don't understand god i don't get it i know that you're going to provide i know that you're going to take care of me and i have no idea what's going to happen i don't i don't know but i just trust you I just trust you. And if I lose rank and I can't pay my bills, I trust you. And I trust you're going to provide anyway. And Hannah was freaking out because we're trying to like get on a flight and we're like, oh, I don't even know what we're going to do when we get home. And she's like, you know what? But I trust it. It's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. And because we let go of our need, we opened our hands. It stopped being like this. We allowed God to move in miraculous ways. And because of that, crazy things have happened, not just ending the month, but then going into Sila V, crazy things were happening, anointed conversations coming out of that and the growth we're having in our business right now, because we decided just to let God move. And when we just kind of get out of the way, guys, so much can happen. So that was not on any of my notes, but I'm taking someone needed to hear it because that all just flowed right out so smoothly. But one of my biggest takeaways coming out of Sea Levy, and if you went to Green Carpet, I know Laura, you were in our house, and Macy, you were in our house, and we had a, a, all of that going on, and so you guys have already heard this, but it was 100% has been on my heart, and I was talking to Stacey and Joey um, at Sea Levy and a few days before we went, and it just keeps coming back. But my biggest takeaway is the phrase, when anytime that Stacey Alcala was pushing for a goal, or things weren't going her way, her husband, Joey, would text her and, or call her or whatever and would always say, you can, you will, and when you do, to God be the glory. I'm going to dissect that really quick. You can, as in believe you can do this, right? 90% of what I just said, okay? Re -re listen to the recording if you need that again. Number part one, the first part of that is you can. Believe you can do this. Believe you are called to it. Believe that God has you here for a reason. You can. The next part is you will, because God is not a freaking genie. <laughs> as much as we wish it was, because I 100% believe you have a calling on your life. And I believe this business is part of that. That does not mean that you will fulfill the calling on your life within this business. Okay. Just because it is there does not mean that you are going to get there because God is not a genie and he is not going to force blessings on you. you got to show up for him too. Faith without works is dead. If you're not putting in the work, the faith doesn't have the same momentum, right? We've got to give God something to bless. We got to put our hands too. So you can believe you're going to do this. You will put in the work and consistently see to make it happen. And when you do guys, to God be the glory, because it's going to come together in a way that exceeds expectations. It's going to come together in a way that blows your dang mind, that blows it out of the room. And when we focus and keep that mantra right now at the center, it gives you fuel to keep going. When you feel like you can't, when you feel like it's not meant for you, remember that you can. When it's hard and you feel lazy and your kids are sick and the last thing you want to do is send post to post messages, again, remember that you will. And when it all comes together, guys, we've got to remember where it came from, because the second we start trying to take all the glory for ourselves, the second we try to start tooting our own home is when we give room for the devil to come back in and devour everything we just built. So when you get there, to God be the glory. And on that note, you guys, I'm going to pray this out because we're over time, but I love you guys so much. I am so freaking excited for what is coming. I'm excited for the rubies that are about to be popping, the rubies that you are building in your business that's going to push you to emerald, diamond, and above. I know this is going to be an insane season of growth that we are not stopping down as we enter the or finish out the fourth quarter. And you guys, January about to be lit, okay? Like things are about to be coming. And I'm so excited excited to be on this journey with you guys. So dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this space. Thank you so much for this group. I'm so just honored to be here with them, to sit with them, to have conversations like this. I pray that you continue to show up and show out in their life, to give them the comfort to know that no matter what it looks like around them, that you are fighting for them, that you are blazing the trail ahead of them. And as long as they stay and surrender in faith, that you're going to bring it all together, that everything will work together for their good and for the better 
betterment of the kingdom as long as we keep you at the center. I'm so excited for the mountains you're moving. I'm so excited for the chains that you're breaking. And I'm so thankful to get to bear witness and be part of it. Continue to work and rock our worlds. And we're going to continue to put our hands to everything to share your love and blessings as to as many people as we can. In Jesus name. Amen. And I love you guys and be back on next week. Same time, same ID. And I hope you have an awesome week, you guys.